Gunshot Residue Analysis, or GSR, is a specialized branch of forensic science that focuses on trace evidence left by suspect shooters. GSR samples are often analyzed using scanning electron microscopy, or SEM, but this can be a menial and arduous task if done manually. The Particle X software package on the Phenom XL desktop SEM automatically analyzes particles found on a sample. Particle X uses the perception software used on legacy aspects instruments to set up the automated runs. This short video will demonstrate how to set up a run properly and go through the data afterwards. We begin our GSR run by opening up the perception software on our Phenom XL. This is the standard view of the software and what you'll see when opening up perception. When the software loads the holder into the chamber, a separate camera, called a navigation camera, takes a picture of the sample holder. This image will be displayed on the right and allow us to create our stage file. The stage file tells the software where the GSR analysis will be conducted. To the left of the NavCam image is the SEM Live View, which will be used for adjusting our sample areas, which make up our stage file. The far left also contains controls for both beam settings, like accelerating voltage and beam intensity, and imaging settings, like magnification and focus. Stage files are created using the far right-hand menu. Sample areas are created by simply selecting your area type and then left-clicking and dragging over the sample stub. Multiple different areas can be included in a singular stage file. The great thing about these files is that they do not require the operator to create them from scratch as they can be saved and reused later. Each sample stub will be slightly different though, so areas will have to be adjusted for each. We will also be including a stage point for our auto video sample, which will assist us in adjusting contrast and brightness throughout the run. We can now save our stage file and switch over to the recipe builder. The recipe builder is used to determine what functions the system will execute during the GSR run. There are many different options to choose from, but a fantastic feature about perception is that recipes can be saved and reused so there is no need to create from scratch at the beginning of each run. We'll use a basic recipe I have set up that will quickly move to our area of interest and acquire information on identified particles. There are multiple other functions available to our users, such as EDS calibration, adjusting accelerating voltage and beam intensity, and degaussing the column. Once our recipe is set, we can now move to Automatic Feature Analysis, or AFA. The AFA tab is where runs will be executed and where reporting for the run can be viewed. We start by loading up our recipe file and then filling out information about each stub that is to be analyzed in the run below. After that information is inputted, we can hit play and the analysis will begin. The software will move to the auto video sample to adjust contrast and brightness, degauss the system, and then move field by field in the first area, searching for particles. When a particle is found, the system will show the image of said particle on the bottom and then immediately collect an EDS spectra. We can stop the run now and show the data the software has collected. This includes the category particle types, the number of each found, beam settings used, and much more. Now we can move over to the GSR Reporter tab to look through each particle. We can open up our previous data set and begin to look at particle groups, specifically the lead, barium, and antimony group. Select the first particle and then hit relocate to move the stage to its location. We are then able to adjust the focus of our SEM to more accurately view the particle in question. Once that is completed, we can begin to acquire an EDS spectrum. The initial spectrum taken during the run will be overlaid on top of the spectrum currently being taken to confirm that this is indeed the same particle identified during the run. We can also label elements on our EDS spectra to confirm the presence of lead, barium, and antimony, and then click Save. On the particle list, a green check mark will appear indicating that we have manually relocated and confirmed that this particle is indeed lead, barium, and antimony. We can then generate a PDF report by simply clicking the Report button. The generated GSR report is broken down into multiple sections, with the first being the auto video report. 
This shows the spot where auto brightness and contrast was conducted. Next is the GSR Analysis Summary Report, which details the information of the run, including the length of the run, the number of particles identified, and how much of the stub was analyzed. Following this is the Particle Summary Report, and this section displays the images and spectrums from the particles found during the run. The final section is the Confirmed Particle Report, which shows the manually updated image and spectra. This generated report follows the ASTM standard 1588 specification and is ready to go the moment it is saved. Now we can exchange our samples and begin another run.